When I moved here in, in June of 1970, I was knocked over by the power of that river, the, the expression of full-blown life that is that river. It was like blood moving through an animal to me. I think as a child I was extremely enthusiastic about the world around me. So I found that when I came back from a place like the Grand Canyon as an eight-year-old and told a story about where I'd been, that seemed to be the way that other kids started to relate to me. And I'm sure without being conscious of it, I was trying to understand how do you tell a story that engages another imagination? How do you make that thing rise up so that it's not really about me, it's about us, it's about the world we live in. I had been thinking about the human and the non-human world and the intolerance with which we meet so many things that don't conform to the way we want to see the world. Native American people tried to look at the animal as though it were more a mystery to be appreciated rather than a mystery in, in the Western sense to be solved. I'm always thinking about giving something to somebody and walking away. And if the person forgets my name or forgets the title of the story, I don't care. What I want is another human being to come to life. The world needs a good story. The story's far more important than the storyteller. Thank you.